guys it's Laurel it's July 6th and I realized the other day I was like shoot I haven't done an update in a while but a lot of changes have happened in our lives like a lot of good things a lot of bad things a lot of challenges um, the most notable thing I would think is that we um, actually a couple weeks ago we put down our dog our family dog bear was his name um, he'd been in my husband's family for 13 and a half years um, we and it actually became on the heels of us trying to have a big trip uh, where we had rented an RV we we're gonna take our first trip in years because we haven't been able to leave Tampa we haven't been able to do any vacations or anything because of financial circumstances so we were already we had rented the RV and then like we were gonna take him too and we got like all his materials together we got like a dog friendly vehicle and um, the morning of and and I was so excited about this trip like you have no idea I was just like yay the universe has brought this to me I'm so great I'm so grateful blah 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 and then the day of he like couldn't pee and he had a really bad urinary tract infection and we took him to the hospital um, the emergency room and it got way worse and they were recommending all these extensive surgeries and they didn't know if they could fix it and he was in a lot of pain and so we went literally in one day from on top of the world getting ready to take a trip to having to put our dog down and he's like family and we had the vet come and um, she came the next day and, and she put him down in our house so like that was a just a major like emotional traumatic moment for me proud of myself because I kept persisting even then um, in the meditations through that I was able to maintain a, a state of gratitude, you know, and so instead of like being sad about like losing Bear and everything we were losing out on him, of course I cried, I bawled my eyes out, but it was more in a way of just like being grateful for him and grateful for what we had and what he brought in our lives. So that was a big thing. Um, and I'd say I've, I'm still going strong on my meditations. I'm, I think, approaching 60 days straight of meditating every morning at 4 a.m. So that's a brand new record for me. Um, and I would say like most of them I feel pretty good. Every now and then there's a few flukes where like maybe I'm like really tired. I went to bed at midnight or something. I'm up at four and I'm just like not not feeling it, you know, and I, and I know that I didn't really make that much of a difference in those ones. But in general, I feel like the meditations are positive and they're they're getting better. And one thing I will say is it took me probably about like maybe a good five to six weeks for the getting up at 4 a.m. Now it's just kind of like clockwork. So the clock goes off, there's no more fight. There's no more internal struggles. So I'm like, thank you. Um, so that's finally becoming a habit. And then I'm also getting better in my day to day of like noticing my emotions. So when I start to slip into judgmentalism or I start to slip into complaining or picking things apart, I'm able to catch that more quickly um, and to stop it. Now that's not to say that I always do it 100% successfully um, and in fact I had um, I volunteer in a local group and there's like a lot of drama with a really difficult member um, and that not losing our dog bear that was my fall from grace where it just really like brought me back to the old me and then the day after I had a really bad fight with my husband and I stepped back and I realized it was because it it just plummeted me from like knew me which we we weren't fighting like ever at all we were having a lot of fun laughing um but it just plummeted knew me back into old me and it felt so different it felt almost like like where that used to feel like the complaining the fight picking the judgmentalism that used to feel like normal for me that was like par for the course but now like going into that state it feels unfamiliar and it's not fun and I don't want to be there so I think that's kind of a little victory too that um that I'm actually sort of changing slowly it's not a fast process for me but changing slowly into a state that is that's a good state a desirable state and it makes me um I think a better person to be around it makes me a better wife it makes me uh, more tolerant of others um and that's pretty awesome and then on the sidebar we've also had a couple other interesting events is that my husband's had a huge upsurge in work um, and then my business has had like some pretty cool like alternative streams of revenue come in not like the same old client that's kind of been a little difficult um, 
I wouldn't call any of those like ground shaking like it's not like finding like a pot of gold under your house or something so like I, I personally do attribute those to the work um but they're subtle when they're incremental they're not like those like earth shattering events that you know you you're like oh my god undoubtedly this came from the the quantum field but I do feel like it it did come as a product of of the work I've been putting in it and then it encourages me um to do more of that work um and then one of the things I also work on besides abundance is uh, worthiness. And uh, yeah, another, I think, pretty decent example was um, I have a client and um, I had given him a price that was very reasonable for something that included like a rental vehicle because I do site work. And he had picked at me and said, oh, we'll just take your regular car. And this is like an industrial site. It's not very nice. So I was like, well, uh, I don't think I want to take my regular car like this is really reasonable it's standard to have like a truck at this kind of facility and so I I was scared to sort of stand up and push back to him because that old me would never do that but the new me was like look if I'm abundant and if I'm worthy then I'm not desperate and I don't have to take um you know work that is that is um incomplete or that is uh does not allow me to to bring the tools that I need and to charge them I mean that's a very reasonable thing I know it's reasonable and I also know that I'm worthy so I was like all right I was like I'm gonna push back to him I'm gonna stand up and that's big for me because I'm not very confrontational and I did um and he came back and he said okay fine he okayed it and for me that was like a gigantic victory and and I remember talking to my husband about it and I was saying well look there's a point that if you're going to be a worthy person and you're going to be an abundant person, you can't walk around like a desperate person. You have to take those risks. You have to take those stands, especially if you know it's reasonable and to believe in the process and believe in yourself. So that was a pretty cool, a pretty cool breakthrough for me. And um, again, it's, it's, you know, two months into it. I haven't really like seen a ton of stuff, but just like day to day is, is good day-to-day is good and I'm just in that my perspective is different um this morning I had a really good meditation I was like you know what it's 5 30 a.m I'm gonna go take my bike out I'm gonna try and plant a new experience in my life to you know uh start planning new circuits and uh pruning away the old circuits to say I can't I can't do this because xyz and I'm trying to say that I can more often just to try and like recreate a new brain and a new self so I try to welcome challenges more readily I try to welcome new experiences more readily um and just to say yes to things so that was pretty cool I got up at 5 30 did a six mile bike ride and or through downtown Tampa and uh yeah and that was great so yeah so I mean there's there's ups and downs every day isn't blissful but um it's getting there that if I can get in that state of mind that the day is getting better and generally when I allow myself to be in that state of mind, I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty easy to get along with. So um, I appreciate you guys uh, checking back in and hopefully there will be more good um, reports to follow. Take care.